Everyone's always asking about Kesig. Who was he? What do we know about him? Well, we know that he came here in the year 510. He lived in an island just off Lus, and he founded his first church here. We also know that he was about 50 years old when he came here. That's actually something which is quite exciting. The idea that this huge, great work that Keswick did started after the age of 50. Well, we don't really even know too much about Keswick's real name because Keswick, what he was called, wasn't a real name. It was a wee bit like Simon in the Gospel being called Peter the Rock. Keswick is made up of two words, Kes and Og, and it means little spear. Some people think little arrow, but most little spear. Why was he called little spear? Probably because of the fearless way that he carried Christianity to this particular area. Looking at this area today, people imagine that Keswick came here because it was a nice quiet place to be. But in 510, it was anything but that. This was where three of the ancient kingdoms of Scotland all joined. It was a place that Keswick came because if Christianity was going to take root and grow in Scotland, this was a place to start. But Keswick didn't just stay here. He went everywhere. One of the old stories that are now associated with Columba, who came to Scotland some 50 years after Keswick, were probably originally stories about Keswick. Let me give you an example. Up north in Inverness, there's an old, old place, and what's it called? It's called North Keswick. We believe that Keswick took Christianity there. Now, not just because of the similarity of the names, but because up until comparatively recently, certainly the middle of the 19th century, there was a big fair day in North Keswick, in Callander, and in Luss. And what was the date of that fair day? It was the 10th of March. And what's the significance of the 10th of March? It's the date on which we remember Keswick being martyred in the year 520. Those kind of folk things are normally a very good indicator of what's happened. So it's reasonable to assume that Keswick didn't just work here in Luss, but he carried Christianity throughout large parts of our country.